Welcome everybody to episode two of the toy box. This week, I don't know what's inside the box. We're gonna find out though. Let's pop it open and take a look. Damn, look at that. See Nick Turtle Series Mondo Gecko. Pretty cool figure. Uh, you see the box there. So Mondo skateboard. Mondo Gecko, Pro Skateboarding Lizard. Of course, it is one of the side characters, so you have all four of the turtles there. And Turtles logo, Nickelodeon logo. And let's take a look at the back. You see a nice little image of Mondo from the cartoon series. Um, and his bio is Mondo Gecko, Pro Skateboarding Lizard. Jason gets struck on the head by a canister of ooze falling from the crane ship while skating with his pet Gecko. He's then mutated into a Gecko teenager known as Mondo Gecko. And Wiles Mikey with his awesome skateboarding tricks. Mondo's been taught it's every mutant for himself, but after seeing Mikey and Casey battle Fish Face, he learns that it's always better to have a friend's back, and so starts the unbreakable bond between Turtles and Gecko. Pretty cool. So, you can see the other figures that are available uh, right there between Turtles, Mutants, uh, Krang, Foot Soldiers. So. Okay. So. There's Mondo Gecko, packaging for Mondo. So we're going to take him out of the box, take a closer look at the figure, and a comparison with the vintage Mondo Gecko. Be right back. Yikes! This could be the end! Are you talking about Slash, the twisted mutant turtle from Dimension X, latest member of the Evil Foot Clan, or Triceraton, Shredder's mutant enforcer? Oh, well, uh, no. Well, surely you don't mean Mondo Gecko, the skateboarding good guy lizard or fugitoid, your whacked out robotic buddy with the short circuits. So, what's the problem? They left the anchovies off my ice cream pizza! From Playmate! Okay, so now we got Mondo out of the package. We'll take a closer look at the figure. Um, it's a pretty cool figure, nice detailing. Looks very identical to the, the cartoon version of himself. You see a skateboard, just a red and yellow. Really not much detail on it. Very basic. Uh, Mondo himself, you can see his face there. Pretty cool. A little striping there for uh, paint application. Of course, he's got his gloves on. Um, you see a shirt. Focus that. So there we go. And of course, shoes, knee pads, and his tail. Um, articulation is pretty simple on this one. Of course, you got the the arms, which have a ball joint, and then they'll go in and out. Uh, the head will turn, and the legs, full ball joint there, and then the tail. The one thing I did notice with this when I was taking him out of the package is the way his feet are. Um, pretty much, it's going to be a little difficult standing this one up on his own. Um, it's going to have to, you're going to have to find a balance for his feet. Um, I mean, he will stand with the skateboard in his hand. Uh, looks more like, though, the actual design of the figure was made more to be placed on the skateboard. Um, but he won't stand on his own. So, especially... With the tail not being as long as the the classic version of Mondo Gecko, you won't. It's kind of hard to make them balance with this tail too. But um, speaking of the skateboard, just plugs right in bottom of the foot there, and just sets right there. Pop it in, and there we go. And we got Mondo on the skateboard. Maybe there we go. There we go. Mondo on the skateboard. Okay, so we do have the vintage version of Mondo Gecko, so we're going to take a look at those two side by side and see like a lot of the major differences. Of course, one being the skateboard. Um, of course, it was the 80s, so everything was a little bit more, you know, 80s, mid 90s. <laughs> everything was a little more out there as far as design go. It's like with the original Mondo, you got the, the rocket on the board, and of course, the like extreme skull design the bigger wheels in the front, smaller wheels in the back. Um, the figure itself, like, really completely different designs here. Um, as you can see, the, the newer Mondo Gecko actually does look more like a Gecko, um, than the 80s version. It looks more like a, I don't know what kind of lizard he actually looks like, but 
as you can see like the huge differences over the character design over the years and the other thing we talked about was the tail so it does make it a little easier to pose to stand up the vintage Ge mondo gecko when how long his tail is where the newer one it's a little a little harder to get him stand up all the way without having the skateboard to balance him or um, that longer tail to balance him out too so. okay <laughs> okay overall though it's a pretty cool figure um i like this figure a lot it's much better than some of the other ones we've seen uh for the nick turtles line and it's really and it's cool to have another side character added uh to the mix aside from just you know repaints of the turtles or you know other villains and things like that so so there it is. That's my look at the Nick Turtles Mondo Gecko. So I've got some other reviews coming up. I've still got Lord Drag. I've got uh, the Dimension X Savage Mikey. Quite a few things coming up. And for you wrestling figure fans, be on the lookout for uh, my reviews of Dean Malenko and Stephanie McMahon from the Elite 37 series. Um, and those will be coming soon. So right, guys, until next time, I'm Heat, and this is the Toy Box. Just keep playing with those toys, man.